Hey guys, it's Tommy with Studio Sense. Thanks for joining me today. Thought I would shoot a few hoops, a little bit of basketball on a beautiful day like today. It's still winter time, therefore there's still plenty of time to bust out those winter fragrances. What we're gonna be talking about today, however, is Giorgio Armani's Code Absolute Gold. Before we get into that, we're going to have a little bit of visual tchotchke or a Easter egg or a little bit of a mystery that you can solve as it were. What do these two things here and here have in common? So think about that while we're talking about Giorgio Armani's Code Absolute Gold. What do these two things have in common? And at the end of the video, I will give you the answer. And if you're right, you'll have the complete satisfaction of knowing that you were right. The house of Giorgio Armani has been known for coming out with fantastic staples of men's fragrance. And what I mean by staples, very popular as soon as they're released, they've been given a great amount of notoriety, a great amount of recognition, especially by the fragrance reviewing community. And that's no less what we're going to be doing today with Armani Code Absolute Gold. But the biggest question on your mind right now might be, what is the difference between gold, the, the standard Armani Code Absolute, and Code Absolute Gold? Well, as you well know, in terms of flankers, there's been Armani Code Profumo, Armani Code Absolute, and Armani Code Absolute Gold. Now the latest flanker in the Armani Code fragrance line. I have here the original Armani Code Absolute. As you can see, we've got the signature bottle size. One thing I love about this bottle is that it tapers to the middle. It's almost like if you've ever seen those grips that you use for weights, that you use for working out, it's tapered to best fit the middle of your hand, but it's a little bit wider at the top and a little bit wider at the bottom. In other words, the width is equal at the top that it is to the bottom, but it finds a middle tangent in the middle that it's a slightly smaller than that. So it fits really, really well in the hand. It feels very natural, very organic, and I do like the bottle for that reason. The cap itself is a twist off cap, meaning that a little, it's louvered on either end so that when you twist, it pops right up. So you can see that. It is an awesome, awesome 100 mil bottle. Very easy to use and very easy to look at presentation for Armani Code Absolute. Now let's take a look at Armani Code Absolute Gold. As you can see, the box is very similar to the box of the original Armani Code. So you can see that there. It's got the product information on the back, some more product information on the bottom, as well as the batch code and the standard product information. Now this is the Parfum Pour Homme. So it is the Parfum concentration. Uh, it is the, this is actually not a 100 mil bottle. It's actually a 60 mil bottle, just like the original. I said 100, my apologies. It's actually a 60 mil bottle. There's a lot of glass there, the weight lends you to thinking that you're getting 100 mil. That's not necessarily negative, but I don't know really why they did that necessarily. Some kind of marketing reason behind that. Box opens up very typically. Now we have the Armani Code Absolute Gold with the Armani script or signature there in the very front. The bottle itself, I do like the tactile feel of this ring around the middle, the center, and then the smooth top and the center to the bottom is very smooth, very nice. And just like the name, it is gold. Now, interestingly enough, the one word that came to mind when I first heard about this release and am now standing here looking at it and have, a, have had an opportunity to smell it and wear it. This is, by the way, going to be kind of a first impressions. It's not really a truly in-depth review of this because I've only had it for a couple of days and I generally like to wear fragrance for about a week, close to a week, four to five days at the most before I actually can give like an in-depth review. Because just like getting to know somebody, you need time for that. The complexity of a fragrance, of course, if it's the more complex of a fragrance, the more time I believe that you should give it to really get to know it. For your nose to get to know it, to get to know the top, mid, base notes, and where they dry down, where they're their very best, and where they're very, you know, where their challenges lie, where their weaknesses are. So I'll give you a little bit more in-depth review of this. This is just, again, a first impressions. From the look, you can see Giorgio Armani on the top of the cap there. You can see the uh, initials GA, and of course, the same on the front only looks very different because it's in script right signature similar to the original armani code and armani code absolute and profumo if you twist the cap pops off because the little 
lever in there and you've got the standard atomizer or sprayer now i'm not going to waste a spray outside but it trust me atomizer works very very well and sprays a goodly amount of juice what are some of the differences now as i mentioned earlier i asked that question that you might have been thinking about what are the primary note differences in armani coat absolute and armani coat absolute gold so what are some of the differences and what are the similarities because yes there are similarities but there are also some differences as well and we'll talk about both as we do a note breakdown let's go ahead and do a really quick note breakdown of armani coat absolute armani code absolute contains the following notes Top notes of Mandarin Orange, Green Apple, Mid notes of Orange Blossom, Nutmeg, Carrot Seeds, and Base notes of Suede, Tonka, Vanilla, and Woods. All right, now that we've done that note breakdown, let's do a really quick note breakdown for Armani Code Absolute Gold. Armani Code Absolute Gold. Top notes consist of Mandarin Orange, and green apple. Mid notes are saffron and iris. Base notes are tonka bean, cedar, guayac wood, and benzoin. All right, now that we've broke down those notes, you can kind of see some patterns there, some differences. Primarily in the top notes, you still have your citrus and then you have your green apple. In the original Code Absolute, you had mandarin and green apple. In the Code Absolute Gold, you've got tangerine and green apple. Now there's not a ton of difference between mandarin and tangerine, unless you're an aficionado of those two fruits, but they're very citrusy and they come off with very similar notes. So in the top, very similar, not a ton of difference. In the mid though, we begin to see some differences. In the mid of the original Absolute, there was nutmeg, carrot seeds, and orange blossom, okay, in the mid. Uh, carrot seeds, if you've never smelled those, those are very like, uh, it's, it's an extract that they use, the little hairy seeds, they extract the oil from them. The oil smells very much like a spicy, kind of a peppery carrot. So it lends itself to giving it that kind of effervescent feel when you smell Code Absolute. Kind of that like pops right off the skin kind of glows a little bit in your nose that's where the warm effervescent feel comes from is those carrot seeds now in the mid of code absolute gold we have a leather note leather note waits in the original to become a bottom note there kind of a bottom accord but in the code absolute gold we've got in the mid we've got iris we've got saffron and we've got leather the original Armani code absolute in the base had some woody notes it had suede it had vanilla so all those three things working together as a base to rest on code absolute has as a base tonka bean it's got cedar wood and guyac wood so you got a little bit more woods there there may be a similar mix of woods in the original but i do get a little bit more of a woodsy vibe guyac and cedar together are a great combination uh, in the code absolute gold now that saffron also it kind of takes gold absolute and that's where i said in the beginning of this first impressions that the first thing I thought of when I saw gold and heard about it was kind of something more refined because there's a refining process when it comes to actual gold itself and this fragrance when you smell it it smells very similar to the original absolute only it's almost like it's been pulled down into a more aristocratic, formal, refined feeling or vibe about it. And that's what I really like about Code Absolute Gold. It takes, now the original Absolute is a little bit on the sweet side, but it still retains that strong masculinity, you know? And now with Code Absolute, you still have that strong masculinity, but it's got a little bit of more charisma and refinement to it. It's almost like you take a suit without the tie, right? And that's Code Absolute. And then you add a tie to it and maybe even a vest and that's Code Absolute Gold. It's just more of the same, only better. It's a lot tighter. It's like when you hear a song, and you're like, mm, you could tighten up a little bit on the drums, the keyboard there, turn the volume down a little bit. It's coming in there, but it's a little bit glaring. And then when everything and the volume levels and the synchronization is perfect, that's when you're like, that song, it hits. Code Absolute Gold absolutely hits for me. If you were to ask me which I would prefer, I would have to go towards Code Absolute Gold. But there is something special about the original Armani Code Absolute. It would be really hard for me to pick a favorite, but if you absolutely held a gun to my head and made me choose, I would say a Code Absolute Gold. I would say the gold is probably my favorite just because of that 
small difference with the saffron and the leather being in the mid instead of the bottom with suede, it is a little bit more refined, a little bit richer. You just get that really proper, charismatic, masculine vibe and feeling and sensation from gold that's not necessarily missing in absolute. It's there, it's just not there in the quantity that it is in gold. And I think that's where the sweetness starts ebbing off a little bit more in gold than it does in the original Absolute. The Absolute is a little bit sweeter in terms of the vibe and the fragrance. They cut it off a little bit, they refine it, make it a little bit richer. Both of them are fantastic flankers, but I would have to go for the gold as the favorite, my favorite of the two. There is a place for both of them. In terms of longevity, I'm, I'm torn. This is gonna, again, I'm gonna wait for a full-on review, but right now, at this moment in time, it almost feels like to me that Absolute has a little bit better projection, better longevity uh, than does the gold. Now, I could be completely wrong on that. The, the jury's still out on that, as it were. So I'll leave that for my full review. So don't take that for gospel. But right now, as, it, as I've been wearing it for a few days, it seems like that the original Armani uh, Code Absolute projects a little bit better than does the gold. However, again, all in all, gold takes the cake in my estimation and in my book. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for my first impression of Giorgio Armani Code Absolute Gold. It's a great flanker. I would highly, highly recommend picking it up when you have an opportunity to. It's gonna be well worth the money that you put down. Of course, Armani as a house is very, very well done. They have a great, consistent track record. Armani Code Absolute Gold is no exception to their rule. All right, so what is the answer to our little bit of trivia, mystery, or Easter egg in the beginning? What are these two things have in common? The answer is this guy. That's right, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is the poster child for Armani Code, Armani Code Absolute, Absolute Gold, the flankers. Not only that, he has his own gin line, which is really cool. Speaking of aviator, Jean-Paul Gaultier has the new Lamal aviator. We're really excited about that. So we'll do an upcoming first impressions on that coming up soon as well. That's it for the trivia and that's it for this first impressions. Thank you so much for your support and stopping by. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you next time.